back to my channel. Today I am eating some filibertos. I got me some road tacos here with wok and cheese. And I already cut up my burrito, but I got a chili relleno burrito with chorizo inside. Chorizo and beans, sorry. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and say a prayer and then we're gonna get right into grubbing. Father God, I thank you, Lord, for today. Lord, I thank you for all your love and your mercy, Lord. May this food nourish our bodies and may you bless those who prepared it and bless who, those who go without. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, y'all. So I was gonna cook dinner today and um, I was gonna cook something really good that I haven't ate in a minute, but uh, hubby got his um, teeth worked on today, so he couldn't eat what I was gonna make, so we ended up getting um, Philly Berto so he could eat something soft. But yes, I love these road tacos. If you guys haven't had them, it comes with guacamole and cheese. Mm. Go ahead and put some salsa on that. So I seen, um, I don't know who had these not long ago. I think it was my brother, Mr. Santos. But these are so bomb. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna try it with the red and the green. Ooh. So I usually like to get the shredded beef tacos, the road tacos, or the chili relleno burrito. Manny likes to get the chili relleno burrito, but with rice and beans and guacamole and pico. So Randy and Lito like to get the bean burrito. Um, Tino usually gets a carne asada burrito, but he got the, um, the same way I get my chili relleno burrito with the chili and beans. He liked it the last time he tried it. And then Hector, he likes to get the carne asada fries, add bacon. But look at that. The chili relleno, no, no bread, no bread it. Um, it's not bread it. So it's just the chili, the cheese inside. And then it has the um, beans and the chorizo. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They always trip out when we get it and they're like chorizo and beans and chili relleno and I'm like, yep. It's fire. <laughs> but yeah, so Manny went to get his teeth done. He's been working on them lately. You know, because growing up, um our parents didn't really take us to the dentist and if they did it wasn't once in a while you know and um and then as we got older we didn't get we didn't have the best insurance and we were low income like we were making that good amount of money so we just made sure to brush our teeth really good and try to do our own like cleanings and stuff like that and um so now that we bought good dental on our own mm, manuel's been going 
and I've been taking the kids and he's like, babe, you need to go too. And I'm scared, like I'm traumatized. <laughs> I got some hojata right here. Just a half because um me and Manuel shared that one. But anyways, I'm scared because I remember going the last time I went to the dentist, I had my mouth open for hours and um I was in so much pain, I was crying, I was like, I'm never and I was a little girl, I was like, I'm never coming back here. And so I was traumatized. Mm. This burrito is fire. So I'm like, I'm never going to go back to the dentist, right? So he's telling me, manuel has been telling me, you need to go make an appointment and stuff like that. So I'm going to make one. Look at that cheese, girl. I'm going to make an appointment soon to go, but I'm so scared. Mm. If you guys have any recommendations. Or ways to cope with the pain or different ways to numb it and stuff like that, let me know. Cause I, I'm lost when it comes to this. Like I haven't been to a dentist for a long time for like major things. So, um, drop in those comments and let me know. And, um, Wish me luck. <laughs> Get up. Mm. I'm gonna share it with both. I think another reason why I'm scared of the like getting shots in my mouth and all that because when I was a little girl I also got my tonsils removed and um they had to give me they had to like get the syringe needle and take out you know all the fluids that was that was in my my tonsils and that was painful too so I'm just like mm -mm, I don't like no needles going near my mouth Mm-hmm. Mm. These burritos are so good. You gotta make sure when you get it though, and tell them that you don't want to bread it. The chile, you know. It's just the chile and the cheese inside. Mm. They need to put a whole seat. There's a whole seat in here. So yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm super nervous. I gotta make the appointment, and I ain't looking forward to it. Mm. I know it's gonna benefit me in the long run. But mm -mm. I'm like, can I just get fake in <laughs> fake teeth <laughs> or some dentures or something? Sure. Mm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not blowing it like it's hot. No, it's hot, it's spicy hot. Mm. I was so hungry. And 
today for my lunch. Mm. And today for my lunch, I had um my meal prep meal that I made. It's um I made some salmon with asparagus and about a cup of rice. It was really good. I marinated everything, seasoned everything up. Ooh, my mouth is on fire. Mm. Mm -hmm. Boy, that chili's hot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I know. So recently, I had to change up my schedule a little bit with work and um, make some changes and um, possibly going to be working from home a couple of days out of the week. And um, going a little bit more part time because I've been so busy, I feel like I have time for nothing, you know. So, I guess I'm just trying to balance, balance stuff out. And then, now that I'm, you know, doing YouTube too, it makes up for the, you know, the funds lost and stuff like that. So, I needed it. So now I'm able to, you know, be on top of the kids' appointments and stuff like that. Mm. Like my internet. I've been trying to get new internet, and I'm like, okay, I'll do it. I'm going to make an appointment. I'm going to look into it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I'm always putting it on the back burner. Or I get busy, and I forget. Well... The day of the live, I don't know if you guys seen it. If you guys haven't seen the seafood boil, you guys go and check that out. Um, I did a seafood boil with my for my 3K celebration and I celebrated it with my family. My internet was jacked up. Right? I had we had so many I had so many technical difficulties with that video, with the background, with the sound, with everything, right? But it was a good time. It was a really good time though. So it was whatever. I was like, at this point, we're hot. <laughs> there was steaming like um, steam everywhere because of, you know, cooking the seafood, boiling it. And I had like big pots and like it was just hot in here. And then my house don't cool down as good as other houses. So we had both fans going it was just too hot for 20 plus people to be in here and us not have the fan on so i did get a lot of you know a lot some negative feedback but i don't pay mind to it because the real ones that rock with, with me and my family you guys understand and i i'm thankful because you guys see my struggles and my what i have to go through so those who really rock, rock with me i am thankful for you guys and your understanding means everything to me. Um, but yeah, so we had, right, the most difficult um, technical difficulties. But it was so much fun. I had a good time. We grubbed. We got full. It was really good. Like, the sauce was delicious that my cousins threw down on. It was a good time. 
so anyways i ended up the next day getting new internet right finally i was like i'm done with this mm. i was like i'm done i'm done it's time to do this and that's it so here i go ordered my new internet and then i'm like okay my thing should be coming in tomorrow because that's what it told me the next day and i was like okay let me um go ahead and cancel my other internet that i've been you know i've been having it for six years i'm like let me cancel this other internet mm. that way i'm not paying for internet that i'm not gonna be using right so i so i go ahead and cancel it the next day or two days after and um my understanding i thought they were gonna cut it off like by the the ending billing cycle or something like that but they cut it they cut it off that same day and i'm like oh my gosh so we're without internet right now and then on top of all that my internet is not working um for Co the one that i ordered i ordered cox it's not working because it comes with the um, coax i think that's what it's called the cable cord and the cable none of the cable cord plugins in my house work so now now i gotta wait mm. Don't mind the background, y'all. There's my kids. We had to go to the bathroom and stuff like that and close the door. Um, but yeah, now I gotta wait um, till Friday. For the technician to come and fix my stuff. And then they're gonna charge me a hundred bucks. So I'm like, dang man. I hope it works out and I hope it's good. It works for me and gives me better better internet, you know? Mm, there's no more. Cause y'all know I need it. There's a mosquito right there. No, it's so good. But yeah, y'all. So that's going on. That's what's going on with me right now. <laughs> My chili's coming out. Mm. And I think um, Manny wants um. to eventually get um you know either braces or veneers i think it's called is it called veneers or visaline do you guys have any recommendations on which one worked for you better um or is there a difference or a major difference in them or not um comment down below Ooh, and let us know your thoughts and your experience of course he's been looking into it but he's just like i don't know what you want to do
Mm. Also, my um, my three children, three of my children, birthdays are next month in October. And I've been getting asked about a P.O. box or an Amazon wish list. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create one uh, Amazon wish list. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to also get a P.O. box on Friday. So once I have all that information, um, hopefully by the next couple of videos, um, I'm gonna be posting it in the link so um, those that were asking about it um, be be on the lookout for that. Um, and I'll announce it again as well. But I just wanna let you guys know I am working on it and I'm not ignoring you guys. Mm. And instead of making like the kids a separate one, I'm gonna do it all in one, like one registry. Just to make it less confusing. Whew, I'm gonna fire boy. This, this, they don't play with their chili. I'm full. Mm. Mm, so good. So good. But I am stuffed and fluffed. <laughs> This I'm not gonna eat. I'm gonna give it to one of the kids right now. Ooh wee! They make that chili hot, man. I know I already said it a couple times, but man, I'm telling y'all, if I say it's hot, it's hot. Cause I like I like spicy. This is burning my lips. That's how hot it is. Ooh. Put it a little on here. I'm stuffed and I'm full of. Y'all, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Anyways, I wanted to thank you guys today for joining me for dinner. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. Like I said, I, I, I will be posting links once I get the registry in the PO. Um, um, by Friday, I'm gonna have that set up. So be on the lookout for those who asked. Um, thank you guys again so much for even asking and wanting me to make one of those. I really appreciate that. I do want to do a video recognizing, um, you know, my mods and recognizing those support supporters who truly, you know, are always in my videos helping, supporting um so let me know i'm gonna come up with a couple of ideas maybe some games that we could play um or something like a raffle or something like that um you guys know i like to do mine a little bit more interesting but maybe we could do like a game night and play like that or um something you guys let me know i want to make sure it's um fair to everybody um but i do just want to thank you guys again from the bottom of my heart i appreciate all the love and support and um if you haven't hit that like button it does help with my channel if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please consider to subscribe and i will see you guys later have a good night